Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the new actions from the Zadnor area in the Bojan Southern Front. Before we continue with this video, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Final Fantasy XIV content. Now back to the video. So in patch 5.55, we have a new zone called Zadnor in the Save the Queen questline in the Bojan Southern Front area. With this new zone, we have 12 new Lost Action Fragments. They're going to be green this time. We have History, Rage, Ferocity, Moonlight, Hope, Artistry, Desperation, Tenacity, Inspiration, Heroism, Revelation, and Cunning. These three here will come from the Delrida, the left chest after the first boss. They'll be dropping random ones, but you can get all three through there. Inspiration comes from killing Imperial dead enemies in the Zone 3 of Zadnor. Tenacity, you can get these two critical engagements from Zone 3. Desperation comes from Zone 3 mobs these Zadnor ones. Artistry, you have Lightning Sprites of Grade 4 or Rank 4. Or you can kill Wind Sprites of Rank 2 to get Artistry as well. Now for the Star Ranks that you see in the zone, uh, Zone 2 will have those ones drop Artistry as well. Hope is gotten through clusters of the Bojan kind for five each. Moonlight drops from zone two Xandor mobs. Ferocity is in zone one. Also, Rage is also from zone one Xandor mobs as well. These two will drop randomly to each other. History can be gotten through Wind Sprites of rank five. And I believe Zone 1 star mobs and basically that's about it. So those are all the different ways you guys can get these fragments. The other way, of course, is through the market board. As you can see here. Some of them are pretty cheap if you quickly go through them all. That one's expensive. Those are expensive. Moonlight is pretty decent. Hope is way expensive. Artistry, pretty expensive. Desperation, decent. Tenacity is the lowest. Inspiration is okay, but it's kind of low. Heroism, of course, expensive because of the hardest ones to drop. Revelations, not as much. And cunning, pretty decent. So they are pretty cheap on the market board for my server, which is Gilgamesh. So if you guys want cheap, Fragments come to us. All right, so now we are going to go into the Zadnor area, and then we'll go over the description of these lost actions. So when we get to Zandor, we will continue. All right, guys, so here we are in Zadnor next to the Lost Finds Cache and the camp. So it's going to be X 34.9, Y 35.2. And before we continue, in the Zone 3, I believe, Attack of the machines, fill in the burn, and still only counts as one can also drop tenacity fragments, which is also skirmishes. Alright, so if we go into the Lost Finds Cache, we'll go over the new abilities that we have. So first off, in Offensive, we have Lost Assassination. Delivers a close quarter attack with a potency of 350, chance of instant KO when attacking from the rear. Which increases the, increases the lower the target's HP is. Spirit of the Beast effect grants the effect of Lost Front of Power to Self. Lost Front of Power effect increases damage dealt by 30% and critical hit rate by 40% for 18 seconds. This action does not share recast timer with any other action. Furthermore, the recast timer cannot be affected by other actions. Lost Chain Spell temporarily eliminates cast time for all spells for 30 seconds. Additional effect of a Magic Burst. Increases spell damage by 45% while increasing MP cost for 30 seconds. Spear or the Ordain effect raises magic burst spell 
damage increased to 100% and nullifies that additional MP cost. So if you have that up with it, that's what it means. And if you have Spirit of the Watcher effect up, lost chain spell duration is extended to 90 seconds and can only be executed while in battle. All right, so we have lost excellence. Instantly cures weakness and temporarily nullifies most attacks while increasing damage dealt by 65%. Memorable will be applied when the effect ends for 10 seconds. Effects of the memorable increases damage dealt by 65% while decreasing damage taken by 10% for 50 seconds. It can only be executed while in battle. Lost blood rage. Increases damage dealt by 15% uh, percent, and reduces damage taken by 5 per stack. Stack increases when each use of a dash attack while effect is active to a maximum of 4. So any gap closer since these are for tanks. Duration 18 seconds. Maximum stacks grant the effect of Blood Rush. And the Blood Rush effect increases damage dealt by 60%, shortens recast timers by 75%, and gradually restores HP and MP for 30 seconds only executed during battle. Lost of the full cure. Fully restores HP and MP while granting auto potion and auto ether to self and nearby party members. Auto potion effect restores HP automatically when HP falls below 50% for 600 seconds. When triggered, there's a 50% chance the effect will end. Auto potion effect restores MP automatically when MP falls below 20% for 600 seconds. When triggered, there's a 50% chance the effect will end. If you have Breath Taker up, chance for Auto Potion and Auto Ether effect to end is reduced by 10%. This is for the healers. Lost Re-Raise grants the effect of Re-Raise of self or target ally. Re-Raise effect grants an 80% chance of automatic revival upon KO. Beneficial, we have Lost Bubble, Increases your max HP of self or target by 30% for 600 seconds. This is from Final Fantasy XII, by the way. Lost Shell 2 reduces magic damage by 15% for 30 seconds. And Lost Protect does the same thing except for physical damage for 30 minutes. Then we have Lost Stone Skin 2. Creates a barrier around self and party members near you that absorbs damage totaling 10% of maximum HP. Next, Lost Impetus. Quickly dash 10 Yalms forward. Additional effect applies Lost Swift to self and nearby party members. Lost Swift effect greatly increases movement speed. Effect cannot be stacked with other movement speed enhancing abilities. Duration 10 seconds. Spirit of the Breathtaker, if you have that up, increases evasion and self of self and nearby party members by 15% for 60 seconds. If you have Spear of the Watcher up, grants rapid recast yourself and nearby party members. Rapid recast is Shoren's recast time for the next ability used by 25%. Only applies to certain abilities for 30, 15 seconds and cannot be used while bound. You go really fast with that. Next, Lost Rampage delivers an attack with a potency of 200 to all nearby enemies. Interrupts all nearby enemies, increases damage taken by enemies with physical aversion by 10%. So anybody, I guess, who does physical damage? I'm guessing what that means. And Lost Burst does the same thing, but for magic aversion by 10%. And these are both for 60 seconds. Then we have Law of Lodestone, which basically is a free return. Light Curtain, which is basically the same thing as Lost Reflect, except in the item version. 10 seconds, of course. Shows a recast timer with all other weapon skills and spells. And we have the last one, Resistance Elixir. Restores own HP and max MP to maximum. Shows a recast timer with Resistance Potion and Dynamis Dice. Oh boy. So that was a lot of actions that were added in. All right. So, each of these will tell you exactly which spell or action you're going to be getting through each one. So, History gives you Lodestone. Rage gives you Stone Skin. Burst. 
Ferocity gives you Lost Stone Skin and Lost Rampage. Moonlight gives you Light Curtain. Hope gives you Lost Reed Rays. Artistry gives you Chain Spell and Assassination. Desperation gives you Protect and Lost Shell. Tenacity gives you Bubble. Inspiration gives you Impetus. Heroism gives you Elixir and Lost Excellence. Revelation gives you Elixir and Lost Full Cure. And Cunning gives you Resistance, Elixir, and Lost Blood Rage. Alright guys, so as for the sprites, the ones I have, there is ice ones, but I didn't really record those ones. But for wind, rank 2, we have X7.2, Y36.8. For wind grade 5, you have X16.0, Y35.7. Then you have rank 4, which is X20.1, Y11.4. For Lightning, we have uh, Grade 2 or Rank 2 at X29.9, Y30.0. And for Rank 4, we have X7.8 and Y30.6. The Delrida Critical Engagement is up here, and this will respawn every so often, but you can quickly get that quicker by doing Skirmishes and Critical Engagements. Alright, you also can get the yellow ones fragments from after defeating Choo Choo Lane, which is basically the big, big green guy in the Del Rider. But he kind of gives you the ones that you get through the prisoners of the Lacus Latori, I believe it was. So you also can get those through there as well. All right. Uh, the other undead, by the way, gives you care and prep. So don't worry about those. Just go for the ones in zone three. And if you come to the Quartermaster here, you have Lost Hope for five Bojan Clusters. Alright guys, so that is all the actions and where to find them. Alright, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care guys, and happy farming.